There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Divas, what's up, Devo? So your girl is back with another video. Today I decided to do this boxy charm review, plus an Ipsy and some other product reviews. I did put on some new fingernails. This time I do have the Kicks brand again, which is the Jelly Fantasies, and I did get these from Walgreens. They're always well, they're not always. They're buy one get one half off. So I got these ones here, which I'm just gonna put some clear coat of nail polish on top of the white nail because if you touch the nail if your hand has any type of residue or anything it'll get on the nail so i'm just going to put a clear coat so that way you know they'll stay fresh looking they're in the length long which i wish they would have these in a the medium you know you do get used to them and i do like the glue that comes with this the kids brand glue because i've noticed that wearing this kids brand glue my nails stayed on exactly before these for a week and five days normally i use crazy glue and it'll last for like three days want to pop off i have to pop them back off but the kids brand uh glue that comes with them is really some good um, glue so I do like the glue these ones here are just the pink ones um the jelly uh, jelly fantasies these are the pink ones and they have like glitter a couple of them are metallic and then they're like kind of like clear I mean t-shirt on with my two sons and me this was probably like I like 2009 my son gave me this for Ozil's birthday which was the 12th of June and we had like a little gathering for him and it was really nice his closest friends so he gave me this for my birthday early and I'm really loving this shirt so two sons and this was like back in the day when i first started youtube this was a half wig i can't remember the name of this half wig but this is when i first started youtube but anyway you guys let's get into this video for boxy charm first i'm gonna show you guys ipsy because this was definitely going to be the last month for ipsy i am canceling my subscription i'm not really too thrilled with the bags anymore even though i think it's like 10 or 12 dollars a month for the cheapest um subscription in the beginning the very first box or the very first bag that i received was really nice it had a Everything in it was usable, you know, nice size, just decent products, eyeshadows, blushes. Everything was perfect in that first bag. And then the second bag that I got, it was okay. Probably like three out of five products that I use in the bag. Not really like a big fan of the bag because once you get one and you just keep getting them, they start to be just like a clutter mess. So I'm not really like a huge fan of the bags anymore. And then this month's subscription, I was totally just like done with it. The only one thing that I was happy about was the choice item and that to me paid for the entire bag because the other items was just stuff that I really am not into and didn't need and I wasn't really feeling the sizes so the bag for this month is a swim or summer theme and I like the I like the pig I like the pictures I like the printing on it plus size woman modeling bathing suit so I do like this is a diversity of color on here but you know these bags do become overwhelming but you can always give them away my choice item was the highlight and blush palette by Pacifica and cherry gold I like this palette or this little quad or whatever you want to call it duo a lot but one has a mirror on the back, which is really compact. So, you know, this was just like the only thing out of this entire month's description that I, I was digging. So a nice color highlight. It's like a champagne color. And then the blush, I have the highlight on and the blush too today. Blush to me is like a very light mauve color. So I, I, I really did like this, this concept, the blush and the highlight together. I really did like this item in the entire, you know, monthly subscription. Also in the packaging is this Hello Fab. And it's the Pores Be Gone Matte Primer um, Base Matte Offense, I, I believe it says. I've never heard of this brand. Really small packaging. But I was getting ready to put it on this morning. I just decided to not do that because it just felt like lotion, like regular lotion. I just didn't like the feel of it. And it's just started getting really thick. Not enough. My skin is already oily and it's hot. I'm not really trying to have all of that thickness on my face, you know what I'm saying, plus the foundation. So... I just decided to skip past using this. Maybe in the winter time or when it gets cooler, but it just was kind of like thick to me. And even though it's dry, you know, kind of like, you know, gives you like this satiny feel, it just felt really heavy. The so next item in here is something that 
I'm just kind of like over the facial creams. I have so many of them and I don't really use all of them. Listen, I have one face. I'm about to be trying all of these different face creams. If I find something that works for me, I'm using it. I'm not going to be venturing out and trying a whole bunch of stuff just because I get it in a monthly subscription. God knows if I break out in a rash, I probably wouldn't even know which product it was. I just stick to what works best for me and that's that. But this is the Real Chemistry Environmental Rescue Essential Day Cream. I don't really like day creams. Night creams, I may wear depending on how heavy they are some of them give you like this really oily finish on your face and you could just feel it this reminds me of that i'm not about to put this on my face during the daytime you do want a moisturizer on your face try to tend lean more towards like the lightweight type of consistency my face makes enough oil that it looks like you can fry chicken on it at times i am really not trying to go there with my skin okay that enough today i had to blot and like reapply twice so and then reapply my wig because it's so daggone hot and oh by the way this wig is by rpg show this is one of their newer units um her name is monica i'm pretty sure the video is up by now i'm never that late right? this little miniature size thing of clean lab ac do foam this is an asian product it helps sebum control lightly acidic cleansing foam helps sebum control for sensitive skin i'm not really sure what sebum is it's made in korea i'm not really sure what sebum is it don't really sound like it's something cool and something that i want to have you know what i'm saying sebum that just don't sound too cool like you got sebum you got sebum syndrome what yeah sebum syndrome that don't sound like any type of skin condition that I really want to have. I'm going to use that. The last item is this little brush, which, okay, I got enough brushes. Plus, I got a really nice set with my Boxy Charms. It's by a company called Domed Blending. It's a cute little brush, but once you have a million, then you have enough. I mean, I love makeup brushes. I really, really do. I like a set if you want to send that. You know what? I'm not feeling all these little products. Like, okay, granted, maybe if I was had a fuller size product, I would be more than happy to try these out or give them away. But all these little sample sizes, I just rather keep my little $12. You know, you never know what you can get with $12. I feel like I look a mess right now. It's probably because I've been so hot and it's like 646. So girl, I am just ready to just relax. But anyway, so I was emailed like, I don't remember, a month ago, whatever, by a company that does natural follicle enhancers for natural edges girl i have an issue my edges are thinned on this side more more on this side than this side at all you know what i'm saying but there it's just thinned right here on this side so for one that's the reason why i don't have i don't wear a wig every day you, you do see me in some videos with a ponytail if i'm not doing a wig review but normally when i'm not doing videos that's probably like six days five, five days out of the week i don't do videos you know i do bulk uploads but anyway um i just have my own natural hair out i have it in a bun or i have it in a ponytail whatever but i, I i'm trying to keep my hair out because i am trying to grow my edges back in you know what i'm saying i'm on my own with just by taking care of it you know stuff like that shit like that but anyway so this company reached out to me and i'll definitely link them below edge natural and this is to grow your edges back you have to apply this twice so it's just a white cream okay and it does smell like it has like some type of minty um scent to it i've been using it for just i think like over a week i put it in twice a day so it's not like i'm seeing any type of change overnight i wish girl because this would be a miracle in a jar is what it needs to be called so i will keep you guys updated on this because i will use this to the jar is empty girl i've been consistent because sometimes i don't be consistent with stuff and then it's like okay why you even bother girl it worked out well for you for the whole month but then you just start slacking that's how, that's what ends up happening anyway on to the next so a girl finally went to her post office box okay because i i just be forgetting I had a package in there this was from oni chase lashes so she sent me some of her lashes also wrote me a little love note on the back her name is stacy and she is the ceo of tony chase lashes and she just loves me and i love you too girl she wanted to send me a love gift and um because i inspire her so much she did say no promo but i just feel like listen if you send me something really really nice like this i want to say thank you so i am adoring these boxes for one okay she sent me four pairs these are so freaking cute very well put together box has glitter like with glitter all over it also it has the ribbon right here where you can pull it out each pair of lashes have their name on it wipe my tears and even on the back there is a cool imprint and just glitter all over so i love her packaging this was very well put together and i just realized that this is actually 
an eyelash. This is what I'm getting, like the shape of this. You know what I'm saying? These are the Wipe My Tears. And I wanted to put these on today, but I did want to show them like this first. The next pair are Gay Funny. These are really pretty too. As soon as you close them, they're very magnetic. So they close very well. G Monroe. Look how this glitters. Even the inside here is all glitter. These are really nice boxes. The last pair, EB Living Legend. And these are like thinner for those of you guys who don't like it too dramatic or semi-dramatic, but just like it really, really natural, then I think these would be perfect for you guys. She took time and work and effort into her packaging, and I love that. So I definitely have to shout her out. I like the name, Tony Chase Lashes. Really nice. Big shout out. Make sure you check her out. I will link her information down below for you guys. All right, so just when I was really feeling like, okay, Boxy Charm, one month we cool, one month we not. Last month's box was okay. It was pretty decent, okay, but... And I really did mean to um, record it, but it got so late and then these came. So I was like, you know what? It's not even worth it now at this point. If you guys want to see the products that I did get from Premium and Base Boxy Charm Box last month, leave a comment in the box below and I'll be more than happy to show you guys. I do have two subscriptions with Boxy Charms or three. I don't know if you want to count it to be three. First, I have the base, which is $25 a month. I also have premium which i think is like 34 dollars a month on top of the base i also have the boxy lux which is every three months so it ends up being 50 dollars every three months so i'll get the boxy lux instead of the boxy base and i also still get my premium which i also all this shit is paid for by me just when i felt like you know what the heck with them boxy charm i'm gonna just cancel one of their subscriptions which will probably be the i don't even know which one to choose because one month want to be really good and then the next month want to be like okay girl so like okay last month the base box was way better than the premium box okay which is cheaper, so go figure. So this month is Boxy Luck. This box was really good. My choice item I did choose is the Swell Insulated Stainless Steel Water Bottle. This will keep your water or any type of cold drink that you prefer cold for 24 hours. And if it's a hot beverage, it will be 12 hours. I think it was like two or three different colors to choose from, so I chose this color. They do have bags that you can put these in and hook to you or carry with you that I noticed on Amazon for these but they come in a variety of sizes and this one is the 17 ounce this box was actually really good for this month well retails for 35 dollars paid for the box one thing that i was so excited about because i love this makeup brand girl and i haven't bought anything by them in a long time because i've been just trying to chill with the makeup you know that stuff adds up but then it starts all looking the same tart high performance naturals tart tea so palette first of all the box alone is really pretty and chic and i was so excited about this i'm what used it today only for the crease of my eye because um i was running out of time i had a lot of things to do but look at the palette this is so pretty it has it has 20 different eyeshadows ranging from matte frosted really nice and just really pretty this was $44.99, or $45 is what this retailed for. This was one of my favorite items in this box. Like, I was really excited about this. One of the products that I did use today was this here, another um, primer for your face by the brand Touch and Soul, No Pore Blemish Prime Essence. This is also another Korean brand item. This I like because, for one, I like the way they did their packaging. And the product is clear. I did put this on my face today. And at first I thought it was going to make me oily. And I was like, oh great, here we go. It's it's not oily, but it has like a slippery feel. But I don't know. I got it on now. I haven't gotten oily yet. Um, This retails for $23, okay? This retails for $23. And this I've been using. It's the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. This just brightens up your under eye or your eyes in general. And the packaging is cute. It had this little clear top thing, and I don't know what I did with it. But it will brighten up your eyes somewhat. It ain't like if you got bad dark circles, then girl, this is not gonna work. But I tried it, you know. I, I I mean I see a somewhat of a little difference, but not like dramatic to where I'm like doing backflips. But you know, what I mean it's okay. The product is okay. This is in the price range of $28 okay one thing that i have been using every day and i really like this because i just told you guys um 
I don't like those creams that are real thick, like thick lotion that you, like Dermacell lotion you're about to put on your face. Like, girl, that stuff scared me. Like, oh, shoot, I'm already oily. Now you really trying to have me like an oil spill. Pure Heels by Nature Valley. Um, Nature Village, excuse me. This is their Propolis 80 Sleeping Mask. I hope I said that right. But this is in the price range of $55. So this right here paid for the whole box. and Everything else was like free, okay? I've been putting this on my face every night because it's a sleep mask. And look, it's not even thick. It's It reminds you of like honey, but it's really thin. And when you put it on your face, like for me, when I after I finish after I finish cleaning my face, I can feel it's really dry, like the products that I put on my face. So normally I will put on a cream that is a little thick because that's what I got. But I mean it works, but that's what I got. But since I've been trying this and using this, my face don't feel all greasy and heavy. Like this stuff is really, really nice. Like I really do like this. But it gives you the moisture that you need. And it comes with a little tiny spoon, a little spatula. One product that I definitely was not um too hyped about was the Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner. This is the foaming face wash. So, okay, so the first day when I got it. I was happy. I was like, you know, not happy, but I was tr I was excited to try it because I don't have any of her products. I would never have purchased this, okay? I don't care if it was on clearance. It is what it is. I'm not going to purchase it. But it's in the box, so I tried it out. Tried it out the first day, and I didn't feel anything. Like, my face just felt like regular. It felt like I had just put water on my face. Like, you know how you use some type of foaming facial cleansers or any type of facial cleanser that you like to use? You know how you could feel like your skin feels really clean? You know what I'm saying? You get that feeling. Even if you haven't looked in the mirror, you can still feel that it, it feels really clean to you. You can tell the difference. This didn't give me that. I just was like, okay, um, let me just use my other product, which was this. Now, this is $12, half the price of this. And this is by Soap and Glory, the Fab Pore Purifying Foam Cleanser, okay? This is like $11, $10, $12 at Walgreens. And they always be having buy one, get one half off. And I have many of their products. Um, you can find it at Ulta too. But this stuff here, now look. I don't really have much left. I love this stuff. Same type of foam con consistency. But with this, you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot with Kylie Jenner stuff either. But with this, you can feel the cooling the tingling, the, the cleansiness with it. You know, when you use that, when I use that, I can feel my face is clean without even looking in the mirror. I can feel it like in my pores and in my face. I just have a cleaner feel. Plus it's also cooling on my face. Well, Kylie Jenner's $24 face cleaner. I don't feel a damn thing. Okay. So if you out and you wondering about the product, don't look, Go to either Ulta or wherever and get this by Soap and Glory, which is the Fab Four Purifying Foam. This stuff works amazing. Plus, their makeup remover soap in a um, bottle works also good. I use that. Their eye cleaner. They have so many good products by that brand. So, yeah, I'm a fan of that brand. This Kylie Jenner stuff for $24. Well, you know, Kylie can keep that. Also in the box was a two-pack lip pencil by Bodyography. These are $28. Um, the colors are pretty though because I did check them out. So I have the color Rosewood and Pouty. Pouty is definitely my color, which is that mauve kind of mauve color. Color, okay. I'll definitely be using that one. And then the Rosewood, it's like a plum color. And the last thing, which is so pretty, I was like, okay, bye, Patreon. This is by a brand called Billion Dollar Brushes. And it is a, I think it's a four-piece set. I can't remember, but I'm going to open it up. These makeup brushes are so pretty. I wanted to use them so bad, but I did not want to come to you guys with dirty brushes. But they look so elegant and chic. I love this gold, okay, gold-plated theme that it has. And the brushes feel nice and soft. They're so pretty, you don't even want to use them, but I'm going to. A five-piece set. So, billion dollar brushes, and these are, girl, $55. These better work like a charm, like um, a magical wand. $55 for these. Um, This is the concealer brush. So each one has the name. Concealer brush, contour brush, highlighter brush, eyeshadow brush, powder brush. But these are so pretty. I don't know if I would spend $55 for them, but the box alone was 
fifty dollars. So this was the second box that I ever received um, since I subscribed. The first one was not really the same. And the last one, here we go. This is the last. This is my Boxy Charm Premium. This box is heavy, okay, very heavy. Premium, you did good too this month. So both boxes did really good. I was very pleased with everything in each box. Well, I mean, I was not really pleased, okay, only because one, one of my favorite cosmetic companies is in here. But one of these items is a repeat for me for like two months ago. Oxy Premium, which is I think $34 a month. The first thing that I'm going to show you guys is I did get another brush, but just a single one. I didn't get a set. And this one is by the same company, the Billion Dollar Brush. And this one here is their Sculpting Duo Brush. So I was pleased with that because it has two different ends to it. And I, like I said, I do like the packaging of these of this particular brush company. So I didn't mind getting another brush. But this one brush is $30. Wow. Another sleep mask, which is by Glow Recipe. And this is their Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. And this ranges for $49. I did not try this because, like I just said, I'm not about to keep using a whole bunch of products on my face. When you find something that you like, you got to sometimes just stick with it and stop. Like, this is not the lab. My face is not the lab. I am not trying to be demonstrating on my face and trying out products and using my face as a, a lab rat. The packaging is dope, though, okay? Their packaging is, like, so chic, aesthetic, like Mumsy would say, my daughter aesthetic she uses that word so often i don't know because it's like a greenish color so i don't know if i would really want to put this on my face i might want to try it but then it's like uh, avocado retinol sleeping mask moisturizing and firming maybe i will use it then i have a shower gel by skin and company roma sardinia Sar sardinian spirit shower gel which is 22 dollars like the delicate fragrance of yellow flowers on a vibrant Sardinian summer day. When the Mediterranean breeze carries the notes of the pressed myrtle flowers and berries that run through the cobblestone streets. Okay, I didn't really need all of this um, extra, but yeah, so it's $22 with, uh, and it has lemongrass in it, wild orange. Um, I haven't smelled it. $22. It doesn't really have like a strong scent to it, but I mean, hey, I like Bath and Body Works. They got their semi annual sale going on right now. A girl can rack up for $22. So you know how I feel about that. Now, this was a repeat. I got the same exact product, same color and all. Like either last month, I got this in my base box last month, which is the Milk Makeup Glow Oil Lip and Sheet. This is $15. I got this last month. I didn't like it last month and I damn sure don't like it this month. Not my color. I don't really like blushes that's on a stick or in a tube because it just I just don't. I just don't. Now the last two products I'm I'm happy about. This was my choice item, and I love this makeup company. I I will spend money on their products, which is Too Faced Cosmetics, and this is their Coco Contour Palette. Okay, forty four dollars. Look, the box alone is worth. $44. Now, what I have been noticing a lot lately with BoxyCharm is they are putting a lot of Too Faced products in their boxes. Last month, I did get a bronzer from Too Faced, which was also my choice, and I love it. I love Too Faced anything. I'm a sucker for their packaging, and um, yeah, I own a lot of their products, but this has some weight to it, okay? Very pretty and chic. I like it. Gold backing. So, I used this today. And I use the deep contour, which is the bottom one. It's right there a little bit. I do look kind of oily now. Um, but I like this. This is so pretty. It comes with six different colors. There's the light highlight, the medium highlight, and the deep highlight. This is like an apricot color to me. And then the light contour, the medium contour, and the deep contour. Um, I didn't use, I didn't want to use the medium contour because for one, it's a cool tone, and I don't really do too well with cool tone. Cool tone. It's not that deep, but I guess it depends on your skin complexion. But nice size mirror. I really do like the products. And then the last item was really is a really nice item, and this is the Grace and Stella 
anti-wrinkle energizing face mask it's a six pack and it retails for 25 dollars when i first seen this i was like oh an, an eyeshadow palette because i mean like who would think face masks are in here okay and i'm like okay so these are face masks what the heck why are they so heavy this is this is everything i'm thinking and i'm still looking at it like reading the packaging it's like anti-wrinkle and energizing okay let it's like an energy drink for your face. And I'm still trying to convince myself that this is an eyeshadow palette for some reason. Because that's what I wanted it to be. Even though I don't need any more. But, I mean, and I definitely don't need any more face masks either. These ones are really nice. So, I will shut my mouth about those. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator because it just, I just want to put this in the refrigerator for some reason. It is the gold face mask. And it, they made sure that this was really sturdy. It's like a plastic tray in here. And it just it just makes me want to put it in the refrigerator. But look at it. It's like, oh, it's so fancy. This is when you take like an Instagram um, selfie and show this. Like, this is so bougie. I mean, I'm saying so bougie. So this I'm excited about. Like, I love me some face masks. So I'm definitely going to try this out probably tonight. I do have another product from Amazon that I wanted to share with you guys. I've been trying this out for a month. Well, I haven't been, but my husband has. And I don't have the product on hand because it's actually in the car right now. This is an Amazon product and it is an auto scan car FM transmitter. So in one of my cars in my Chevy Malibu, it has a disc track player, you know, a CD player, but it doesn't have like an aux cord outlet. So if you wanted to listen to the music that you have on your playlist on your phone, you wouldn't be able to. So with this car FM transmitter, you can do that. And this is so easy. Like when I first looked at it, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I don't really like, I'm not, listen, I'm not too tech savvy when it comes to stuff. I like it simple and basic. You can either Bluetooth the product to the transmitter, or you can use like the little aux cord or little headphone cord that it comes with. Well, that didn't work for me because that was the first thing that I tried because I, like I said, I like to make it simple. So um, I was like, just great. Now I got to do the Bluetooth, but it was so simple to use. It comes with directions, which I threw out, but it is dumb easy. Like this thing was so easy. Got it on first try and you'll see it pop up in your phone on the, um, the Bluetooth as FM 83 and it finds a station for you. So easy. You can even answer your phone. It has a phone button. You can answer your phone and it, you can talk through the thing when you're, when you answer your phone when it like, I was like, oh, okay. And it's mad cheap. Like. I had one of these before, but not this particular one. It's a really nice um, product. It has a neck where you can move it. You can also put two, two USB ports, cords right here and charge your phone. You can skip songs with it. It also pops up with the name of the song on the device. You know, you can go forward. You can scan. It's a really nice device for the price, like seriously. And it seems like it makes the bass and the music a little bit louder. So... If you don't have an aux cord and you need a car FM transmitter, I would suggest this one. It's wireless, really easy to set up. It does have an aux cord in and out, and it also has a USB disc, and you can just do a Bluetooth. Girl, listen, I'll try to do everything real easy because, like I said, I'm definitely not tech savvy, but because I was kind of tight when it didn't work with the aux cord, but the Bluetooth was super easy, so... I'll link that below for you guys. I do apologize that I didn't have it on hand. It's 717. Yeah. I, I did want to edit the video, but forget it. Okay. But I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. Share it. See you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And don't let nobody get on your nerves, girl. I'm going to give you this right here. Uh. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the rockets on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off.